Do you ever feel like your business is a roller coaster? One minute you're crushing it, the next you don't know how you're gonna pay your bills? This is a common problem with many small businesses. And one of the best ways to add predictability and cash flow into your business is by incorporating reoccurring revenue into your business model. And I know you might be thinking to yourself, well, Brad, there's no way I can implement reoccurring revenue into my business. Well, you're gonna to wanna to keep listening because in this video, we are gonna talk about how you can start scaling your business with reoccurring revenue. Let's jump in. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Liquid Digital Marketing Podcast. In today's episode, we are talking about adding reoccurring revenue into your business. All right, so what is reoccurring revenue? Also known as MRR, monthly reoccurring revenue. There's also ARR, annual reoccurring revenue. So it's very simple, really, right? So it's when someone pays you on a reoccurring schedule for a service or a product or access to something, right? So we see it all over the place and we'll get into that. And we're gonna get into how you can implement that into your business and some ideas how, of how you can do that. So stay tuned, we're gonna touch on that. Um, but. Basically adding recurring revenue, it's going to add stability, it's going to add predictability, and it's gonna add cash flow. So what that means is, well, let me share a story. So when we started our business, we did all project-based work. So someone would come to us for, let's say, a website. And it was a project. We do 50% up front, 50% at the end, project finished, and now we're looking for the next project. Sometimes we had a lot of projects, Sometimes we had no projects. So we were constantly just on this roller coaster of things are good, things are bad, things are good, things are bad. And that is the case with so many small businesses. When you can add in some type of a subscription or a membership or something where people will pay you on a monthly reoccurring schedule automatically, then you start to add in this baseline of cash that's coming into your business where you don't have to constantly go look for the projects. So for us, when we started, all of our projects were these web design projects. Once they were done, they were done. Now we're off looking for another one. And then we got smart and we started adding in services that had a natural reoccurring revenue type of subscription-based service, such as hosting. So people would pay us a monthly fee to host their website. That's a no-brainer if you're building websites. All right, so once we got that going, then we took it up another level and we added another service of just maintenance. So not just do we host, but now you can also have maintenance on your website. So that's a, another opportunity to implement a reoccurring revenue into your business. So things are going well, right? So now all of a sudden we're starting to like get enough money into every month that that covers our expenses. So any products we come in is just pure like, you know, it's all uh, above our expenses. So that's the beauty of adding that in. And then now we've taken it even a step further and added even a higher ticket item in, and that is our marketing services. So now we're doing marketing and people pay us on a monthly basis to do marketing for them, right? That is our story. Now that we've done this, our what used to be our main profit margin, our main source of profit website projects is now just icing on the cake right? So if we get a website project in, that's just above and beyond, you know, our, our expenses. And that is what MRR is. Recurring revenue, super important to get into your business. But how do you get it into your business? So basically, in order to have a recurring subscription or membership, you basically need to be giving something of value over time, right? So it can't just be like, okay, I have, here's a bad example of trying to create something that would have a recurring revenue. Okay, I have a course. So you buy the course, you take the course, and the course is just a static course. You learn something, once you go through it, it's done, you're good. 
Well, there's no really opportunity there to create a reoccurring subscription model. What might work is let's say you have a course that maybe changes over time or you're adding new content or maybe it's a, a bulk of courses that you're constantly feeding information to or maybe the course comes with a group at access to a special group or continued education or access to you or something in that regard, right? So what the big kicker is, you have to have something that continuously gives them value on a repetitive schedule. So maybe it's a product. Well, that's easy because if you can if you can have a subscription base for your product, then they're getting something tangible. If it's a service, you know, what is that service? What is the value add that they're going to get? So let's take a look at some examples out there. And honestly, it's hard to find where these examples don't exist. There is one industry that I have really, I haven't really found much on the reoccurring revenue. And that's like your typical real estate industry, right? So as a real estate agent, what would you be able to do for recurring revenue? And I haven't found one yet. So if you have an idea, I would love to hear it. Um, but it, maybe there's like a, a tangent utility that you could have people subscribe to. I don't know. Um, but let's look at some common ones. Okay, so the, probably the most common that you think is Netflix, right? Hulu, all of those guys. And funny enough, they're all going to that subscription model where you pay them a monthly fee to have access to what they offer, Disney Plus, whatever it is, right? So you pay a subscription versus Blockbuster where you had to go in and rent your movie and pay a one-time fee and now you're gone. So, you know, there there you have it. Like there's a, a great example. Another one is Fabletics, right? So basically this is like workout gear where you pay a subscription and every month they send you, and I'll be honest, I have not subscribed to Fabletics, so I don't know the exact details, but basically they send you clothes and you keep them and wear them or you send them back or whatever. You just have a subscription where you're constantly getting a feed of, of workout clothes, which is genius because if you are working out often, then you go through workout clothes because they start to get a little stanky. So it makes sense and it works. Okay, I'm gonna take you back in time for this one. Do you remember, and this might be for the older generation that is listening, the Columbia House. <laughs> or maybe you've watched an episode of Goldberg's I just recently watched where they had this, where you subscribe to Columbia House and they send you so many like CDs or or tapes, cassette tapes. Um, and it was basically a mail order subscription. And they'd get you in by, you would get like, I forget what it was, but like 15 cassette tapes for a penny. And then the next month, all of a sudden, now you're like paying them, right? Or you're, they're sending you stuff and you're like, oh wait, now I owe you all of this money. So anyway, that's, that's the old school subscription. So this has been around forever. Okay, another example is the Dollar Shave Club. So here is a tangible product that you use and you go through. So I don't know if it's an actually it's a dollar or if it's five dollars or what it is, but you are gonna pay them a low fee monthly to have a constant flow of a consumable item. They have the same thing with uh, feminine hygiene products, which I don't know much about that one, but I know that it does exist and a woman can subscribe to this and get their hygiene products without having to go buy them. They just have a subscription. Another great example is look at any app you use. Almost any app. Whether it's a web-based app or whether it's an app that you installed on your phone, almost all of them have some free version and then there's the extra tier where you pay a monthly fee to have the full version. And basically it's a SaaS, a software as a service. It's a SaaS product. It's you're buying, you're using their app, you're using their service, and you know that's basically a reoccurring revenue model. So what about us guys that don't have an app? What about the the service based industry? You know, uh, painters, roofers, plumbers. Like, what are they gonna do? How do you implement that? And that is tricky. I'm not gonna lie, that's a tricky one. You know, but if you're like a coach, you know, there's 
there's a ton of different ways. So let's kind of go into some different ideas on how you can implement this into your business. One way is just to membership membership ties. That's a new word, I think. Your product. So let's say you sell a uh, face cream. Well, maybe just kind of like the Dollar Shave Club where you have a subscription where they can buy the product or they can sign up to pay a different amount and they will just get a monthly supply. Every month you just send it to them and every month you just automatically bill them. So if your product, maybe you sell coffee or maybe you sell, it works really, really well with consumable products. Candles, soaps, um, tea, whatever. If it's consumable, super easy to do. Now, let's talk about maybe you don't have that product. What if you just have a service? So sometimes it's repackaging your services in a different way to where they're getting value over time. So here's an example. I'm gonna use us as an example. So websites, typically, and what we do typically still is it's a project-based thing, right? So they they come in and there's the project, here's the project price, 50% up front, 50% at the end, blah, 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 blah. And that's the project. There's no reoccurring. But let's say we needed to create this into a reoccurring situation. Well, what we could do and what some others do is maybe there is a setup fee. And then from there, it's just a monthly fee, a lower monthly fee. So let's say it's $100 a month or $200 a month and you have your website and we maintain it and we host it and it's just on our server and we make sure that everything's good, you have access to it and you just, instead of paying us a, a larger amount up front for the whole thing and us just handing it off to you, we're actually hosting it and maintaining it for a monthly fee that is as long as you want your website, you end up, you keep paying. That is how you can change your services to be monthly. So maybe it's just re kind of packaging how you offer your service. Another thing to think about is maybe you don't have that. Maybe you just need to create a new product or a new service. Maybe there's some tangent thing that you can provide that is an added value to what you're already providing. For example, as we were, were building websites, well, a obvious tangent to that is hosting websites, maintaining websites. That is another way to look at your product and services and see if, if maybe you just need to create some new ones and see what you can do in that world. Let's talk about even creating a group format. So maybe you're a coach there's a ton of ways to do it if you're a coach, you know, obviously with your services, with products, and I mean, there's a ton of different things you can do, but what if it's just group, a group format? So now what you're able to do is you're creating um, a different price point for people to sign up for a group where they pay a monthly fee to be a part of this group and more, it's more of a group format where you can help them help a larger amount of people at one time for a reoccurring monthly fee. Let's say you're a photographer. So, you know, you got a wedding gig, you got, okay, this business needs a photo shoot, this family wants, you know, some wedding pictures done, this new business person needs, you got these gigs, projects, right, that come up and then you don't have any for a while, you got a market, you're always looking for the next gig. Well, what if you created a subscription where every month, you go and set up at a location and people pay you on a monthly basis to be able to come to you once a month or maybe it's multiple times a month, I don't know. Let's just say once a month and they get you know, so many shots and you have maybe said some different scenes set up. So the beauty of this is you don't have to go find gigs, gigs come find you you're able to get more than just one person through in a setting. You don't have to travel and set up and worry about the scene. You're picking it, you're setting it up. People are coming to you. So let's say you have 10 subscriptions. Now you have 10 people coming through that day to get their pictures taken. They get, you know, five to 10, you know, shots that you will be able to give them for them to use in their marketing for that next month. So now they come back to you next month because, hey, they need some fresh ones, right? So if you're, they only have like, five to 10, well, that's, you know, one to two pictures up to post every week. 
Okay, well now next month they need some fresh pictures. You're at a fresh location and now they just have a constant stream of getting those professional photos and they don't have to try to book and schedule. They just know you're going to be here. They've already paid for it. They know what to expect. They walk in, they get their pictures done. They're out. The next person's in. It saves you time. It saves them time and they get what they want. You get what you want and you're creating a financial baseline in your business. So that is an out of the box idea for a photographer. Now, I mean, that just, there's so many different ways to kind of spin stuff like that. So think about your business and your industry. How can you create a service? That's a new service. What are people's needs? How can you, how can you give value to people? How can you solve people's needs and make it to be subscription based or membership based? Okay. So let's say pest control, right? So for pest control, maybe it's you come out and you do, you know, one setting where you do a big pest control session <laughs> and then they have a monthly fee where they pay and every month you come out and you just do a, you know, a, a touch up, right? Or maybe it's not every month. Maybe it's a quarterly thing. I don't know. Maybe it's an annual thing. I don't know. Same with your AC and heater stuff. So you know, maybe this one isn't a monthly thing, but maybe what it is, is it's an annual or, a, you know, twice a year or maybe every quarter where it's just a maintenance, right? It's coming in. We're going to like, you know, recharge everything. We're going to make everything, make sure everything's looking good. And it's a low monthly fee, you know, and then it saves them and money in the long run. And it creates cash flow and predictability in your business. Pools. I mean, that one is set up for reoccurring revenue. If they're not, that's already the thing. Lawn care, already the thing. You know, housekeeping, already the thing. Roofing, that gets a little bit ch more challenging, right? Like, you only need a roofer once in your life. Hopefully, maybe twice. I don't know. You don't need roofers a lot. So that's a that's a challenging one. Real estate agents, that's a challenging one. So I get it. There's There can be some hard, hard ways to make reoccurring revenue in some in some um, industries, but thinking outside the box, maybe there is some other utility that people can use and subscribe to or have access to, um, you know, in, in order to create that. So, all right, so that is recurring revenue. Honestly, implementing this into your business is going to be game changing. And even if you just start small and just start building on it, next thing you know, by the end of the year, you're gonna start having a bulk of these people that have signed up and are using you. And all of a sudden you're gonna be able to breathe a little bit better in your business. I really wanna challenge you to come up with some ways to and how you can add recurring revenue into your business. And look, if you are having a hard time coming up with some ideas, hit me up, leave me a comment. Whether you're watching this on YouTube, whether you're hearing this in the podcast, leave me a comment, shoot me a message and I'll help you come up with an idea. And until next time, have a great day.